and he's just looking to get his way back into that starting rotation for the rest of the year. There is that funky delivery. First pitch is outside at 6.02. 2-2 two pitch is floated out to left field. Lucas Costello on a dive, can't make the play, and it gets past him. So Eula Hall is going to chug into second and stop there. 2-2. Two -two. Hit sharply over the head of Dorian Gonzalez Jr. into right field. An RBI single for Jack Thorbon in Stonehill has an early one to nothing lead. And that's what we were talking about. You know, that is why that play for Costello right there in the outfield is such a game changer. And Lidsky at the dish. It's a chopper to shortstop. J.D. Urso is there for the first time in a while and flips it on to second for the first out. It's not getting the ball for the third time on a Wednesday this season for Miami. As there's a leadoff single for Jack Marshall. Right up the middle, already the third hit for Stonehill off of Chestnut. College at Stonehill played baseball and basketball as that one's rocketed at Urso and it eats him up into center field. Station to station for Stonehill. As the throw back to second isn't in time. He can't make a play. As the bunt is laid down, Torres is going to go to third, and they've got him back over to first. Not in time, but a good play from Jason Torres. As that throw is sailed in the center field from Ben Chestnut. Each runner moves up 90 feet. The second error of the inning for Miami. Hit sharply, Urso on the backhand gets the force out at third. But Stonehill will score a run and make it two to nothing. They're already 0-2 this year as the runner takes off the throw down. Not in time. They can get themselves out on. Runner takes off again. Fastball is blown past Kay Eiley for strike number three. And then handed off to the bullpen. Payoff pitch is outside, ball four. Chestnut looking to put him away with two outs. Ground ball, right field, base hit. Getting the windmill is Parks. Here's the throw to the plate, and it's cut off. Two out, two strike, RBI single from Blaine Lidsky. And Stonehill is rolling early. And a great job of hitting right there from Linsky, just driving that ball to the outside part of the plate. And even with the shift on, when first base not far from there, able to get the ball through the infield. A walk in a stolen base, and then Lidsky comes around. As that one gets past Urso, second time he's had a play that he wishes he could have made. Comes so important as the NCAA has condensed the season. Scanlon couldn't locate it. And each runner's going to move up 90 feet. Here's the pitch. Outside, ball four, and the bases are loaded in the top of the third. 2-1 pitch from Notterman. He's hit on the left side. J.D. Urso was a little bit confused, but he makes the play. And Stonehill leaves him loaded in the top of the third. Nice piece of hitting from Jack Scanlon. Hard hit up the middle. He continues his hot start to the year. And a guy everybody at Miami is really high on um, coming into Miami. He obviously put up some great numbers. Swinging 3-0 is Sear and dumping it into center field for a base hit. That's going to score a run, an RBI single from Blake Sear. Gets Miami on the board in the bottom of the third inning. And that's a big base hit right there for Blake Sear, obviously trying to work out of a slump right now in any way. 1-2. Got him looking. Cuvay goes down on strikes as Gray struts off payoff pitch, lead off the fourth. His ball four. And we saw his speed earlier with the stolen base. As there's a back pick, and they got him. Scanlon to Torres. Strong baseball is what teams have done against Miami in victories. As the 2-2 is sent opposite field and down for a base hit. It gets all the way past Kulikowski. kaili has got second, and he's going to pump the brakes there. A double down the right field line, and Stonehill just continues. To the pitching staff. Hit sharply left side. J.D. Urso off of his glove. It trickles away. An RBI hit for Siula Hall. He slides in safe. Stonehill has four runs, one in every inning. And they restore their lead back to three. Yeah, and another two-out hit right here with a runner in scoring position. 
able to find a way to score that run and pick up another run to add to that lead. Ciola Hall takes off. The pitch is not a strike, and he swipes third without a throw. As here's the payoff pitch. Got him swinging, but it gets away from Scanlon. Ciola Hall scores on a drop third strike, and it's 5-1 to one Stonehill. All Stonehill early as there's another base hit into center field from Blaine Lidsky. His second hit of the day. Eight hits, and we're still in the fourth inning for Stonehill. And that's what you see from a team. As it's floated into right, Kulikowski makes the play. He throws strikes. That first pitch is destroyed out to center field, and it's a no-doubter over the batter's eye from Taylor Gasper. Just the second home run of the season for Stonehill, but it's a big one, and it's six to one. And I don't know how many times we've mentioned it. It's a soggy night, and we've talked about the ball is probably not going to fly, but it has cooled down significantly, and you just saw him put a wallop on that baseball right there. The freshman's 0-2. Little looper, that's going to get fair over the head of Torres. Digging for second is Kayali, and he's got it on a head first slot. First pitch rolled over off the bat of Parks, into the glove for Torres for out number three. But not before, Stonehill once again adds a run. Still some time for Miami to mount a comeback. 3-2. Off the outside corner for ball four and a leadoff walk for Kulikowski. And back-to-back -back walks to start the bottom of the seventh for Miami. Second on the team with 17 home runs. He blasts one out to left field here. Blake Sear is back. A three-run jack for Miami. Keynes are in this one in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, and if you're Miami, they've been taking at bats like that all night where they've been looking for that home run and you wanted to see them some, put something together. Unfortunately, if you're this Miami team, you cannot live by that home run. You'd like to see them put together some big at bats, but that's huge right there to see Blake Sear finally get back onto the board and break out of that slump he's been having. And you can see it there, soft throwing stuff from Ina Belli. Blake Sear able to just sit back on an inside changeup and drive it into left field. And then they got the big three-run home run to put him right back in this game. And there's another walk to Daniel Cuvet. And all of a sudden, the game tying run is stepping to the plate. A 3-2. Upstairs, ball four. A 3-1. Outside, ball four. The fifth walk of the inning for Miami. The pitch. Ball four outside. Jack Scanlon goes to first. Daniel Cuvet touches home, and it's a one-run game. One-two. Spiked in the dirt. That's past the catcher, and Miami's tied the game. Two. Hit well out to right field. Gasper goes back and gloves it, shy of the track. Drills him. Fastball runs inside and gets a piece. Right back to Sinta, who's going to go to second and get the out. Two-strike pitch. Right into the hole on the right side. Great piece of hitting from Siula Hall to work against the shift. Sit on the ground right side. Gonzalez Jr. flips it on to short to Urso. They get the out there in a big spot. Got him swinging. Nick Robert, 92, straight past him. Payoff pitch. Upstairs, ball four. Another free pass for Miami. Up against just five strikeouts as that throw gets away from Thorbon. And Jimenez moves up to second. He's just stabbing out there and you see the inability to get the bunt down. But what he does do is move the runner to third anyways on a productive ground ball out. 3-2. Ball four. Blake Sear works a walk. Another 1-2. Two. 
Hit sharply through the hole on the left side. Daniel Cuvay gives Miami the lead in the bottom of the eighth inning. Yeah, and the freshman there continues to be the guy right now for these Miami Hurricane hitters. Finding a way to drive in that RBI there, not with a power home run, but just driving the ball through the end. First pitch swinging, backside ground ball, stabbed at short, and the throw on to second in time. And he'll try to watch Nick Robert close things out for Miami. Good way to start it. A little flare to Dorian Gonzalez Jr. for the first out. 3-2. Got him looking. Strike three called. A 2-2. Two -two. Got him swinging. Miami wins. Robert closes things out. And the Hurricanes complete a comeback victory and defeat Stonehill 7-6. Mm-hmm.